Hello everybody, thank you very much for watching. So Linux on DeX is dead, so Samsung uh, stopped the uh, development of Linux on DeX. So let's find alternatives. And one of my subscribers mentioned in the comments below, in the comments under one of my videos that I should try Andronix Linux installation Android app on my DeX and that's what we're gonna do. So I do have Andronix already downloaded. So we're now gonna run Andronix and see what's what. So you go, I've been presented with the menu. Obviously it's a full screen or I can go into a, a window mode and just click what I need to do. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move that to the right and I know that we're gonna need to use a Termux. So we do have a Termux and it's gonna run on the left. So first of all, um, I'm gonna upgrade Termux with the most recent packages. And while this is going, we're gonna pick the OS to install on, on my DEX. I tried yesterday with Ubuntu, Debian, etc. I tried pretty much nearly all of them and it's some, I'm doing something wrong or I'm pressing something or is something not right. I'm just not getting, for example, the Ubuntu user interface. I can't log in via the VNC. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this. Manjaro, we're gonna use Manjaro as a testing ground for this video. So we're gonna use this one. Uh, I would like to let you know that I am using the premium version of this app. I purchased the premium version yesterday, but it is extra, other extra uh, things you can purchase while you're using this. And this is called Modded OS. So for example, if I wanna use Manjaro XFCE Modded version, and if I click on info, it's gonna open information exactly what's on there. And on the videos, images and videos, if I click that, opens the website and it's gonna show me what kind of modded version I will get if I'll purchase this extra package. So this is modded Debian, how it looks like, modded Ubuntu and modded Manjaro. So roughly this is what I might, I will would get if I will purchase modded Manjaro. So it's gonna be like all these colors, etc., etc. And this, this cost, um, this will cost you uh, extra, let's have a look, one pound and 34 pence. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go click install and then Jaro opens the uh, a tab. I need to click and drag up. And I do have all these options that I need to go through. First, I need to click copy and click Termux. So if I click Termux, is if you don't, don't have that yet open, it will open the Termux for you. So we're just gonna go on the Termux, we say clear click and hold and paste and press enter. And now it's gonna say yes, and we're right now installing the Manjaro Linux on my DeX using the Turmux app. While it's doing, obviously we need to pick up the interface uh, desktop environment that we wanna use on this. So it is a couple of options, X, F, C, E, L, X, Q, T, L, X, D, E, or mate. Maybe it says beta, so we're not gonna try that. We're probably gonna go for XFCE, because I think it's the most popular one. So we need to just click this. Tick appears, this means the command is being copied. And I need to paste into, into a Termux terminal. While all this happening, I'd like to mention that this is all this setup is very similar to, to this, to and Linux. It is similar. Uh, steps you need to take in Analytics as well and the dashboard obviously is ads popping up because I just don't want to pay. Um, you need to choose a distro so you're picking up the distro is a bit more uh, distros for you to choose from then you're choosing the um, the environment and setting everything up but uh, for my from my testings I would say that Analytics and Userland another one is called Userland they are they do similar thing but um the outcome for me was different because i don't know it just it felt that this is more complete is i don't know it's just possibly me right uh, the installation finished so it's telling me i need to uh, type the command dot slash start dash manjaro sh and it's running so right now i am inside linux so right now i do copy the xfce press on here, press paste, press enter, 
and now it says it's gonna totally load 63 megabytes total installation size will be 3.25 megabytes i'm gonna say yes yes to that and here we go the amazing installation started so what i'm gonna do now i'm probably gonna leave this running because uh, yesterday I tried to install this and uh, I can't remember, but it took quite a long time to install. So right now I'm just going through all these packages, files, etc, etc, etc. And like I said, I'll come back when I do need to uh, choose something like a keyboard layout or location or um, the, t the uh, is it English language, etc, etc. You know what I mean or when am I actually finally ready to go and start using this. So don't go anywhere. So installation right now stopped at the asking for passport for VNC connection. Installation took around between 10-15 minutes. So we're going to create the password. The password I'm going to do is QWE123, enter. QWE123, enter. Would you like to enter view only password? No. And by the looks of it, the connection finished. So VNC server dash stop. I'm just going to stop the server and start again. Just a little refresh. I don't know. It's just the way I do. And right now server is running. So now we need to have a VNC client. The recommended one obviously is VNC viewer, but for some reason, it just sometimes don't want to work as it detects that I'm not using the touch screen monitor. So now we're just going to say yes. And bingo, I am inside Majango, whatever that thing is called, uh, Manjaro. Um, that's an environment. So let's go application settings under to do, do, do display. We can try to change the resolution. So right now it's running at 1024 by 768. I can find my display resolution, which is 3440 by 1440p. So we're just gonna change to 1080p. And you go, I do have the Linux, um, Linux environment running on my DeX. So we're just gonna close that, disconnect from that. So this is VNC viewer app, but if I'll use this app, which is called be VNC free. If I run that, I can under advanced settings force it the res different resolution. So we're gonna try force it to be uh, same resolution as my screen, which is 3440 by 1440p. The local local host IP address fine. Uh, password is the same because I'm trying always with the same password. Click connect and bingo. I do have a full screen Linux environment. So we can go to applicate. Okay, sorry, my bad applications. Let me open Office, for example, I don't know, something Office Calendar. And it's crashed. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay, I'm in. And here we go. I do have Office Calendar. So next we're going to go into what else we can draw? Graphics, games. There is some games. What's the games? Sudoku Block Attack. Block attack. Okay. What about if we're going to... Oh, right. There is no full screen mode. Okay. Fantastic. So we're going to try to play block attack. All right. So I need to uh, match the colors. And to make sure that it's the... Um, do not reach the end, basically. Okay. 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 All right. So as you can see, we're doing pretty well here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, blue, blue, green, red, red. There you go. Game works fine. No complaints about that. Uh, home. If I go to home, I obviously do have the, um, the home folder, documents. So it's really neat. I would say it's. Uh, you possibly can achieve the same one if you're going to use and Linux uh, or user land under apps to install the the um, Linux distros. But I found that Andronix Android app is is simpler for me because I'm not the tech uh, Linux 
whiskey that I, I just know nothing about Linux apart of just a handful of code, handful of commands. And it's, um, it's very useful to that this app exists for me or for, for a users like me who just know nothing about Linux. There's an option to change style and uh, I'm just gonna quickly see what we can pick up here. Uh, orange, nothing orange, okay. Um, dark, I like this one. And the font, obviously I can change font, this is 10 pixels now, oh, oh, different icons. I like it. Okay, let's close all that, let's close all that. Uh, presentation mode, current charge, power management. Anyway, here you go. I am running Linux on my Galaxy Tab S6 as alternative to uh, already dead Linux on Dex. What's the home going to give me? Oh, folders. Wicked. Amazing. I'm really happy that it's actually working so well. So let's close that. So Manjaro, that's the one we tried. And we go back to Termux. And we're just going to stop Linux server. And I'm just going to exit the Termux. So here you go. Andronix is available on Google Play Store for free. It includes in-app purchases. If you want to uh, and draw, if you want to support developer, please do that. Andronix. Uh, oh, it's a donation. Which one installed? Here we go, this one. Andronix Linux on Android without root. Um, let's see ratings. So 523 and it's 4.5 rating. Not bad at all. I'm really happy the way it works. And it's very pleasing to like, it's very simple to navigate. There's no messing around anything. It's, it's really detailed. And obviously they do have a Discord channel. So if we're gonna go and let's try to accept invite, let's go and jump into the Discord channel. Um, so we are in the Discord channel. It's quite active actually. I, I had a quick read through yesterday, see what they're talking about. It's, it's very responsive. If you need any help, they always straight away within a matter of minutes will give you an update and give you a hand to fix the issue you're facing. Brilliant, so Andronix available on Android. I tried this on my deck setup and this works perfectly. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.